Are you guys ready for a challenging challenge today? Or multiple challenging challenges, because we're back in challenge mode, and it looks like we've got a wall riding challenge of sorts. And if I remember correctly, it also involves carrying a ball, and there's a jump in it. Of course, there's a jump in it. Um, so yeah, we've got to build something capable of carrying a ball all the way across this course, and apparently across a jump, which is going to be interesting. Let's take a look at what we have to use for materials. So we can use whatever size wheel we want, whatever size of our choice. Uh, one piston. What would the piston be used for? We have four thrusters, which is plenty enough to do some good wall riding. Ten bearings, not a whole lot of material to build with. Ooh, there's only a gas engine. Electric engines are ideal for wall riders, but they gave us gas and no electric instead. That is an interesting choice from the creators. All right, so I think the best way to do this is I'm just gonna ignore the ball at first and just try to create a vehicle that can go through the course. That way I know what the ball has to go through and um, how the vehicle has to be able to handle it throughout the course. Because until I know exactly what my vehicle has to do, I don't exactly know how I should handle this ball. All right, so building a wall rider is generally a pretty simple concept. All you gotta do is build a normal vehicle and then just add some downwards thrust on it. All right, let's set the engine up, turn on the thrust, and let's see how this feels. I gave myself four wheel steering for this. Oh my goodness, I actually need to make this engine a little bit more powerful. I'm giving it max power right now, and it was kind of just barely enough, it felt like, to get up there. All right, I mean, most of this feels pretty, pretty self-explanatory so far. Oh man. Yeah, gravity definitely affects you with this gas engine. The electric engine, you would only move when you press the gas. This gives you the ability to roll. Oh, okay, hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm fine. This is fine. I'm just, just messing around is all. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on, keep going, keep going. Oh, what? I can't, it actually won't let me right now. Come on, I need the momentum. There we are. Okay, and then we got the jump. Can this thing even make the jump as it is? That is a huge jump. Okay, let's reset for a second. Um, Let me go ahead and max out the engine. Not max, se second to max. Well, this is a level, oh boy. Well, if we have, um, <laughs> if we have the thrusters on, it should be a little bit easier, but wow, I have so much more power now. Where am I going right now? You know what, first person, if I do strict follow cam, oh, look at this. Actually using strict follow cam in a way that makes sense now. Um, if you weren't aware, the latest update that brought this challenge stuff also brought strict follow cam that goes upside down. It did not go upside down before, so that's awesome. Okay. There we go. So don't want downwards thrust for this jump. Oh, there's more after the jump? I didn't even realize it until just now. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness, I'm I'm too fast. This is ridiculous. I got an idea. All right, so the way to do this jump is to keep the thrust on so I can pick up speed, then turn the thrust off, and then turn the thrust on. There we go. All right, so I just gotta be able to do all of this of whatever I'm doing right now. I gotta be able to do all of this while carrying a ball with me, but I gotta look at where I have to drop off the ball. Because they did give me a piston, so I may need to use that. All right, let's see. So then ball, oh, ball goes there. Okay, I was hoping it was gonna be elevated because if I have the ball on top of me, then I can't easily put the ball right there. And then of course they're gonna give me another jump. This is like a kicker too. This isn't even like a, this isn't a good jump. Oh, you know, <laughs> I don't think I was supposed to make it. It looks like that, that jump's actually gonna come up once I put the ball in. All right, I know what has to be done with the ball. Now I just gotta figure out how to do it. Okay, the ball actually fits really nicely right there. All right, so this is gonna be a catching platform for the ball to land on right there. Okay, is this enough to catch the ball if I get there? Oh yeah. Oh no, no, one more block, really? All right, that should be enough. There we go. I'm hoping that's gonna be close enough to the ground for the ball uh, receiver to pick up the ball. You know what, no, I can make this way easier on myself. Oh no, I only have two more bearings left. This might still work. This is gonna be weird, but it might still work. I'm just gonna attach these to those. All right, there, so now I'm hoping I can just squeeze the ball. Oh, that's not gonna work, is it? No, it might work. It might work if I add a little bit of peg right there. Get that. That just might work. Let's see what happens. Ready? Get around the... No, 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 no. Don't get back here. Get back here. Get back here. Get back here. And then close. Ooh. 
Ooh, that actually worked better than I thought. First try. Okay. Well, let's see if uh, let's see if this works. Oh my goodness, what's happened with the camera? <laughs> there we go. Let's see if this works now. The jump is what I'm really concerned about. But so far, it holds the ball in when we're upside down and everything. Actually, I haven't gone upside down technically. Hey, what's going on here? <laughs> Why do I have less ground clearance because of the thing I built? That's okay. It's it's working all right so far. Come on, just get over the humps. No. Come on. There we go. Okay, you ready? Here comes the big one. Let's get some speed. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, that was so close. But we're not done yet. We do have one final jump. Oh, and I have to hope that the uh, the ball receiver can even pick this up. Wait, what's going on? Oh yeah, I don't have follow cam on right now. That's why. Okay, there we go. Okay, please be close enough to the ground. Ready? Yes! Yes! And... Perfect! Ooh. Ooh, that was a fun one. I liked that challenge. That was really fun. All right, next. I think this is challenge number 46, and it doesn't look like, it didn't give me like an introductory cinematic. Okay. So we hit that, and then that does a big thing over here. Oh, do we got water? We got water again. Water in challenge mode is so cool. What? Oh. I don't know what that does right now. And we got water, and I don't... I have no idea. I have no idea what this challenge is about yet. Let's look at the um, buttons. Okay, yeah, I saw the buttons. Let's look at the overhead. There's two water sections. There's a big ramp after the first water section. I don't know what to expect right now. Ooh, 400 floating parts, two thrusters, got a bunch of wheels, a bunch of bearings. Uh, I don't like it when it gives me a bunch of parts that I don't know what they're for yet. What are the developers? envision these being used for i don't know i don't even have a hammer so that kind of tells me i have to press these with my vehicle and i have one piston so i guess i'm going to use that piston to press that button and then see what the rest of the course entails all right so it seems to expect me to be able to float and move across water so we're gonna put some steering bearings for these thrusters here I guess I'll go ahead and put the piston thing right here. I'll hook it up to a button, so when I press it, it should hopefully push that. All right, let's see how this works, or if this works. Just go ahead and push that. Okay, mission accomplished. And I just realized my thrust is facing the wrong way. So I have re I'm gonna have reverse steering in the water, which is gonna be unfortunate. How are the cones so obtrusive? Okay, so now what? Wait, are you serious? I was, I thought something different was gonna happen here. Unless something different does happen. No, no, that goes out from there. And something happens. All right, let's just see how this thing floats. Oh, this is good. This is actually pretty good in the water. But what is, how am I supposed to, how am I supposed to press these? I don't actually understand how I'm supposed to press these things yet. What other parts do I have? I have, do I have, a, I do have a controller. This challenge is actually, I don't know yet how to do it. Does it somehow expect me to be able to use the single piston and a single controller to be able to get something in here? Or is my vehicle supposed to get up there? Okay, here is my idea. I'm gonna put that on the front of the vehicle. This has to go pretty much really high. I'm just gonna have it extend way out this way. And when I push button number two, it is gonna turn around to face forward. But I, wait, do I have to do this in the water? No, I don't. So now I should be able to press button number one. Oh no, I do not have nearly enough leverage. All right, but that worked. Let's just see what happens now. Here, let me press this so it's not in the way as much anymore. Okay, ready? Turn around. Oh no. It, it looks like lengthwise it might reach the button, but that's the maximum I can lift it up right now. It does feel like I'm missing some. My game crashed. All right, I'm back and my vehicle is gone. It did not save my vehicle through the crash, unfortunately, but that's okay. It was 
I didn't put that much work into it. Okay, so the other option is if I can't reach into there and press it from my vehicle, maybe I have to, maybe they expect me to get my vehicle into there. And I do have an idea for that. Okay, this is the new vehicle. It is a little bit complicated, but it is capable of bending at its center which I think is gonna help me get up into those sections. I also have some center wheels as well to hopefully help me out with, um, prevent me from bottoming out. I don't know how these thrusters are gonna come into play as far as that goes, but only one way to find out. And then of course I can press the button with the, with the thing up in the front, just as usual. Okay, let's see if this works. Now I have no idea what their intended design was or how the developers solved this, uh, <laughs> this course themselves. I'd be really curious to see what that was but uh, this is how I'm trying it. I don't even know if this is gonna work yet, but this is this is the part right here. This is gonna be the moment of truth. I, this isn't a wall climber, by the way, so like, I don't know how this is gonna work right here, but let's find out. There we go. All right, press the button. Yeah, yeah, that is it right there. All right, push that. Okay, now just don't flip over. Okay, good. Good. Now, do I float? I don't even know if I float. Let's find out. Uh, it's okay. I could use a little bit more, uh, a little bit more, uh, floatiness on the sides. Oh, this is gonna be really hard. Is this even gonna be possible right here? This is a lot higher than I thought it was gonna be. My wheels should grip. Are they, are you kidding me? They're the perfect width to get bottomed out right there. I can't back up. I just realized in the water, I can't back up. All right, come on, there we go. Oh no. I am a little bit, a little bit confused. Okay, can I try this? Can I make it up here? As soon as I start flipping up, I gotta start bending. Oh, that was close. That was close. This is possible. This is possible. This is going to be really difficult, but this is going to be possible. I'm really starting to feel like there's an easier way to do this, and I'm just taking the hard way. Come on, get the grip. Get the grip. Yes. Get in there. Oh, I made it. I made it in. I made it in. No. It's way behind me. The front of my vehicle has the... Okay. This is fine. I just got to back out slowly. Okay. Press the button. Oh. <laughs> oh, I know what I should have done there. I got to get back in there all over again, though. Come on. Get in there. No, this could work. This could work. Ready? <gasps> no. Hit the button. Please just hit the button. Hit the button. Make the button do the thing. Oh, my goodness. I'm so close right now. Wait, I'm actually not. I can't back out of here, can I? I think I'm actually stuck in here now. Okay, um, this has potential to work, at least for that button, but it is extremely hard, so I think I should change something. One of the things I could change is I could just have this go over the whole back of my vehicle, so that way um, I'll be able to press it even when I'm at the, like, going all the way through to the front of the tunnel, because now this whole thing goes up, which should make it easier. But I still have the issue of getting in there in the first place is extremely hard, which I guess I could just try it again. Go in, go in. All right, no, I got an idea. I've got a new idea now. Um, we are going to replace one of these thrusters is gonna be for actual forward maneuvering. And then another thruster is gonna be to keep the nose down. I just hope that this one thruster is gonna be strong enough to push the whole vehicle up. Okay, so now I can still bend myself, but number two does the front thruster, and then number three... Oh, I don't have a number three right now. There we go. And then number three will push that up on a button instead of a switch, which I don't need it to be on a switch. So let's see how this functions now. There we go. I can turn that thruster off for now. Don't need it. I hope I can still float. <laughs> All right, here we go. So activate the thruster. Oh no, I should go up and then activate the thruster. There we go. Bend. Straighten out. And push. Now, can I do that from the water? Woo! All right, turn that off. Okay. Well, at least this thruster is plenty strong to push me through the water, it seems like, but can it push me up here while my wheels are going? That's gonna be the question. First, I gotta line myself up. Which is apparently easier said than done lining myself up here. 
Oh, 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 just catch the wheel, catch the wheel. There we go. There we go. Almost. All right, there it is, there it is. Okay, ready? Thruster? Yes. Oh! It worked. It worked so much easier that time. Okay. Now... Now I don't know what happens. All right, come on, keep going, keep going. Don't get caught on the wall. All right, now where do I gotta go? I hope this vehicle is suited for the rest of the challenge. I really only focused on that one button there. All right, where am I going? Down? I'm gonna put my thruster on for this. Okay. All right, everything is looking good so far. What is this? I have to maneuver through here? I think I can do this. I hope. What's over here? Oh. Oh, that's easy. Okay, this doesn't seem like a problem at all. Why is this a challenge? What? It, I don't understand the layout of this. Is that supposed to like prohibit something? Or be weird in some way? But that was easy. Oh no. Oh no, what is... What is this going to be like now? All right, well, let's see what happens. Oh, I'm on the corner. Lining up is going to be the issue with this one. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, ready? Thruster. Bend. Push. There it is. Okay, now I got to get off of this without messing up. My ability to go. Yes, turn. Yes. Oh, what happened over there? That was crazy. I think I did it. Oh man, that was a rough challenge. That took a lot of just tuning and readjusting and evolving. Okay, so I have heard that this next challenge, this is number 47, I have heard from the comments that this one was particularly hard for people, and it looks like we've got a bearing here. This go, this side goes up, whatever that means. What? I don't understand. Okay. I, I don't quite understand the challenge. It looks like I've got to throw something, a ball? I don't see a ball right now, though. Oh! Oh, there's a bunch of ball spawners. So it looks like balls are gonna come down here. And I have to... Oh, there's a net, too. I'm gonna have to build something that tosses a ball into this hoop. This is such a cool hoop design. I like that. Goes into the hoop and then down there. Okay, I guess I can see how this could be hard. I don't quite understand yet how to do the challenge. It looks like I want him to build some type of flipper device, but, oh, my game just crashed randomly again. <laughs> oh, do I need to get four balls in here? I'm looking at the intro cinematic now. But after I do that, then I, I, I gotta still drive whatever I've built somewhere over to the other side. I'm assuming that whole thing is gonna get out of the way somehow, but you know what? I'm going to have to save that for the next episode, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. Challenge mode is getting pretty intense, really testing our mechanic skills. If you guys enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more videos that you can find on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.